Hi, I'm Mike Sen, and I'm going to be going over how to load a Sumi drum. I learned how to load one off of YouTube videos, and I'm having trouble finding the video that helped me learn how to load this. He gave some techniques on how to load it, and when I do want to go load one of these, I don't want to spend too much time looking around for that video again. wasn't able to find it before, so I make my own. I should be able to find this quickly. Hopefully you'll find this useful. I have these Sumi drums because Lege came out with an upper, the Max uh, 1031, that allows Sumi drum mags to be fired. Sumi stick mags, not so much. I did order a bunch of them and then I found out uh, the hard way. Sumi stick mags don't work, the drums do. we will need the Shockwave Z Mag S in order to uh, use stick mags in your Lege Max 1031. Let's start off with loading the drum. Got a button you can depress that allows removal of the cover. You want to be able to prop this up against something and have gravity as your friend help you load it. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and wind this up. Eight clicks. That's a standard eight clicks. Didn't just happen for this one, but each of my drums takes eight clicks to move the follower up here. I've got two followers, a primary and a secondary. What we're going to do now is load it up. I'm using Cellier Below, and I hope I pronounced that correctly. Brass ammo, because Lage recommends using brass ammo, not steel ammo. I have also found laser ammo sucks. It doesn't work that way. Well. May just be mine. No two are alike, of course, Max, but Lege makes things more consistently, so I'm feeling mostly the ammo. This ammo works swimmingly. I'm waiting to use that word all day. What we're going to do is we're going to have, load this up. Having a screwdriver helps out when you get that occasional round that falls over. going in here from the feed lip. That looks like it should be enough. Let's go ahead and count them just for the heck of it. Your results may be different. Go ahead and close this up now. Can you hear them shaking around? That's going to change in a moment. I'm going to go ahead and depress the spring. That's going to let spring tension, keep everything in place. A little bit more solid. There we go. So once that came up, you can hear the spring tension pop. It's a good, you don't hear any rattling around, and this should work just perfectly. Sumi 9mm Z Mag S Shockwave. These are fantastic magazines. However, having the new springs, you get kind of old loading them. They load like many pistol magazines. Not straight down. You have to go down and then in. It makes it easier. We'll start with this. If you can get one, when they're available, the speed loaders have. Nice little cutout on the back that allows you to slide right over the magazine, push the rounds down, and go ahead and load them. They work out nice. If you're not able to get that, and I was just able to get this one, 
You may have to. I'm loading a couple of these by hand. What I did was got one of those uh, oopla, probably uh, butchered that pronunciation, but uplula pistol mag loader. I just cut out, Dremel tooled out the back end of this. I'm not sure how long that would last or how many it's good for. It's by no means any long-term replacement for this, but it's better than nothing. And this also worked very well. 